Hidden away beneath the Thames, an engineering marvel is slowly taking shape. And now there's a through route that goes uh, seven kilometres from Acton and then five and a half kilometres back to uh, Curtin Street, Battersea. We were taken underground to see this huge super sewer, a labyrinth of interconnecting tunnels that one day will clean up the Thames. This is the connection tunnel to the central section, uh, main tunnel B. So we did this section of sprayed concrete lining to connect to their segmental tunnel that we can see ahead of us. Kayla is 21 and from East London and one of the civil engineers working on this huge project. Not many people know this is here yeah, in London. Exactly. It's a kind of secret. Yeah, kind of. Um, but what we're doing is making the river um, better. So in turn, people will be aware of what we're doing once they see the quality of the river improve. The super sewer will reduce the amount of overflow into the Thames drastically, because um, right now, whenever there's heavy rainfall, um, the sewer is overflowing into the Thames and that's why it probably doesn't look as nice as it used to. Um, so the project will eliminate that and um, make it a better, I don't want to say a better place, but um, just more safer and um, better for the ecosystem as well. Eventually this network will connect to a sewage treatment work in East London. There are sewage discharges every week at the moment into the Thames and with climate change meaning more flash floods and a growing population, that's increasing. We're currently 40 metres below the surface and when it's finished this will be 16 miles long and what it does is it links up all the most polluting sewers in London so when they overflow due to flash floods, instead of going into the Thames, the sewage will all come into here. Nearly all of the tunnelling has been completed. It's been paid for by Thames Water customers through their bills, costing £3.8 billion. It's due to open in 2025.